Hey there, this is Mark Henninger from AVS Forum, and today we're taking a look at Master and Dynamics MH40 over-ear headphones that offer premium materials and workmanship, plus high fidelity audio at the $400 price point. These are passive headphones, meaning there's no Bluetooth or active noise cancellation, but there's also no battery to worry about charging. The MH40 works with mobile devices and comes with two cables, one that's two meters long with no microphone, and another that's 1.2 meters long and that includes an integrated mic. It also has a mute button located on the right ear cup. Master and Dynamics top of the line passive headphones come in nine different color combinations. The pair featured in this review is the gunmetal and black leather option. These headphones rely on 45 millimeter dynamic drivers in a sealed design. 32 ohm impedance means that they're easy to drive, even with a mobile device. Master and Dynamic also sells a wireless Bluetooth version of these headphones, the $550 MW60. One convenient feature of the MH40 is that it has a 3.5mm jack on each ear cup, so you can choose which side you connect the headphone cable to, or you can attach a second pair of headphones to the second jack and share a source. Master and Dynamics marketing emphasizes build quality, and with the MH40 headphones, the fine craftsmanship is readily apparent. There is no plastic involved in the construction of these cans. Instead, you get aluminum ear cups, stainless steel components for all the hinges, plus the headband, and real lambskin leather ear pads that attach magnetically. In all, the MH40 has the makings of a product that will last a long time. Decades, according to the company. MH40 headphones are a comfortable and stylish entry in the $400 over-ear category. Of course, good ergonomics are mandatory at this price, and the MH40s are easy to adjust for a good fit. These headphones are easy to drive and produce punchy, toe-tapping tunes with the built-in amplification found in your phone or tablet. Most mobile devices are able to drive them at more than satisfying volume levels on their own. Master and Dynamic does not publish frequency response specifications for the MH40. However, using simple listening tests, I determined that bass extension is very good, as you'd expect from modern, full-sized, sealed, premium headphones. The marketing for these headphones makes no claim of absolute tonal neutrality. Instead, Master and Dynamic touts a rich, warm sound. I listen to the MH40s using a wide variety of my favorite tunes, covering genres that include rap, rock, dubstep, ambient, classical, and even some jazz. The tuning of the headphones is a matter of taste, of course, but I can't imagine there are many people who would object to how these sound, regardless of what genre of music they enjoy. One of the beautiful things about headphones is they're a purely personal item. You choose headphones that are comfortable on your head, sound good to your ears, and work well with your playback devices and your taste in music. Master and Dynamic presents the MH40 as a long-term investment in good sound. My take is this, if you have 400 bucks to spend on headphones, you don't need digital or wireless connectivity, you do enjoy punchy, engaging sound, and you value style, good workmanship, and the use of premium, durable materials, then you should check out these headphones to see if they fit your needs. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to this channel.